And welcome back, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Looks like Carl Johnson has been th moved out from Liberty City, correction, from Los Santos to, well, wastelands of, or terrain areas of the Well, to the wilderness, forests, and all that kind of area of near, near the in uh, elsewhere of San Andreas. And interestingly enough, Mount Chiliad, which is to say this big, scariest mountain sea chase about the dry wall, reappears at Grand Theft Auto V, but in completely different, you could say orientation it appears very large it, it appears at northwards of Los Santos uh, northwards and bit westwards in the, well in this one it appears much more in a west and bit bit southwards and of course because of its much newer game it's of course much bigger and more impressive mountain as well but it doesn't really matter Mount Chiliad even in this one is quite impressive uh, impressive and scary mountain to climb well, m meaning you can do all kinds of crazy stunts from it uh, usually with the video game generosity of chance of flattening yourself against the mo mountain range without you know being killed except with a po price of respawn and lose all your weapons and that can be mitigated by just reloading the game but it's quite it's quite obvious that why they Well, oh, did some research and yes, there really was or is program called Crash in Los was in in Los Angeles and it also I included a at least one corrupt p police officer who was very cork who was corked. But Tenpenny, of course, is just completely. Oh, looks like he is running away. Where is the motorcycle? Over here. Take the motorcycle. Chase the man and put on the put off the music just because uh, the fighting with all the copyright notices is quite a bitch when it's a matter of when it's a matter of the of this game but which has so much of this licensed music. Come on, I wanna get you, I want you to out leave. Yes, now he left. What did you now he's dead, because I shot him to the head. I took the photo of him. You could say nothing really, you could say truly complex in this mission, which is uh, quite nice because of the previous missions tended to be quite much more uh, in re le level of much more difficult to do. But this one, much more, si much simpler, easier, more lenient mission. Just go up there, little chase, shoot the guy, take the photo, and return. The difficulty curve of this of San Andreas tends to be, you could say, kind of uneven. It fluctuates around mostly because of the level of equipment and all that stuff that can be gained over the game.
Long, quiet a wheelie. And a phone call. Caesar, it's me. Carl, you all right, Ong? Your sister's been worried. I heard some shit went down. Yeah, Los Santos is dangerous right now. I'm out in the middle of, I don't know, Whetstone or whatever that is. I don't know Whetstone too well. I got some family out there, I think. But at least you ain't in jail, Ong. Shit's fucked up with your brother, is it? You be careful and look after Kenny. Don't worry about me, man. You worry about the man who tries to fuck with my woman. I got some backup coming out to protect you. My cousin, really intense, Holmes, trust me. Meet them over at the diner in Dillymore in Red County. You won't miss them. So now I would be knowing, now there would be a new contact for CJ to look for. And as I now look at the map, It it's gonna take a long drive, uh, long and comfortable drive across all over the place to get to that. Well, I can't remember the exact location, but you can see that the map of the San Andreas is large, and there is no loading breaks between any of these locations. Which, when the game was made, was very impressive technical achievement, but. Well, I guess it's time to go and drive to meet her, meet Sasavia Panda's cousin and see what kind of person he or she is. Carl, it's me. Sweet, what's going on, man? And what the fuck you think is going on? I'm in the prison hospital, nigga. I know. You all right? Hell no. Nah. You gotta do something, man. I'm trying, man. I just gotta make sure Kendall's safe first. All right, man. I gotta go. Don't worry, bro. I ain't gonna leave you in there. Yep, well... Sweets in prison. So I just saved my little dollop of progress and I admire the landscapes. And it's time to go to the meeting spot, which will take a little while, but it would not be interesting for you to watch. Well, that took a few minutes of driving across to all kinds of nice roads, so let's see what's going on. Do you want some fatso? You big string of Yankee shit. piece? I sing fucking oh. units with more balls than you! Oh. What the fuck do you want? Nothing. I'm looking for a friend of mine's cousin, on, Mexican bitch. guy. Oh. He ain't here. You? But Cesar said you was a real man. Crazy. Lady, I'm a God-fearing, peace-loving man of the people. Whatever, asshole. Let's go. Damn, relax, baby. Where's your car? Where's yours? Uh, ladies don't drive themselves. That's what men are for. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Caesar. Appreciate this, homie. You have your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. So, what's your name? Where we going? My name is Catalina, and we're gonna take this county for every stinking cent. Okay, good plan, I guess. You're damn straight, it's a good plan. I've cased four soft targets. A liquor store in Blueberry, a bank in Palomino Creek, a gas station in Dillimor, and a betting shop in Montgomery. Hold up, which one first? You're the driver, you dumb pig, you choose! Alright, now that I have targets left, one would be right, right next to this, but I think I'm not gonna go take the closest to the one, I'm gonna go for the most distant one, which is to say on the upper right spot, northeast of here. So I'll be going to there first and see what kind of chaos it, it's gonna go up there. I'll be seeing you in there. Well, here's the closest, here's the one target and it would be a case of, and interestingly enough, Catalina would be playing a big role in Grand Theft Auto 3. You're on crowd control, so don't take any shit. Yes, um, Miss Catalina, miss. Don't even think about doing anything, motherfucker. Hand over every last dollar! No, bitch! Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to empty the safe. Keep this idiot's cover. Alright, you heard the lady. No heroic shit. You wanna get blasted, fool? Oh, shit! Bitch! I think you want a simple job! Idiota! Oh uh, yeah, that's something you can't succeed. Eventually, you somebody will. Don't criminals have any consideration? We can collect that bribe later. Might as well go and take a look. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and even in later Grand Theft Auto games, they would be these kind of, you could say, robbery missions. Anymore? Where is, where is the... Oh yeah. Give give some more bullets to that. That guy lost his head. Yep, she's going into full-scale profanity screaming. So now begins a motorci motorcycle escape chase. Yeah. And I think it also it's the one which introduces the unique stunts. Yep, they they are back and they are quite difficult to find. So you could say that the chronological order in which 3D era Grand Theft Auto games happen is, well, Vice City Stories, uh, Vice City, uh, San Andreas, uh, uh, bro bro broke my train of thought, uh, uh, Vice City Stories, Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, or better say, Organi Order of which came first, San Andreas or Liberty City Stories, varies, but Grand Theft Auto 3 is the last of them. If you was the last bitch on earth, I'd start going out with an animal. You're too fucking loco, senorita. Well, that's, you could say, very friendly, uh, friendly, honest, and all around just heartwarming start to a lovely relationship. So what might happen now? Now that, of course, the truth is one of the, we could say, one of the better characters of the... Of course, the San Andreas has quite many, uh, you could say, layered, comp layered characters, but the truth would be one of the, you could say, 
I would say most Grand Theft Auto character being this kind of charismatic and ex exaggerated parody of some kind of archetype. But I guess it might be time to head towards his place then and see what's there. Well, now, well, let's go see the mo hotel. What's going on? What is the truth? my peace. I mean survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Namaste, Carl. What the fuck that mean? Play the freak. That, that is the truth. Voiced by great actor Peter Fonda, son of equally great actor Henry Fonda, and father of, and also Peter Fonda is also brother of, well, also a competent actor Jane Fonda. At one phase, she was considered one of the most hottest women on the planet. And once you look at look at how she looked like at that time, it is not easy to. Uh, guess why she was considered one of the most hottest women on the planet and of course Peter Fonda's daughter is Bridget Fonda who is quite good actor uh, uh, as well so and interestingly enough Henry Fonda was all was in all kinds of straight-laced conservative do good American roles while Peter Fonda went much more into alternative hippies crazies drug cra drug 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 psychos and all that kind of weirdo things well his big first you could say breakthrough role was from the hippie film uh, Easy Rider although and as a Captain America although I would say that uh, Bla uh, Easy Rider is uh, much darker and grimmer film in tone and yes the drugs used in that film are real I don't know uh, except I don't know maybe uh, the LSD trip but I do know about weed that it was real so yeah so also uh, of course when they have a weirdo hippie character they're gonna hire at uh, the weirdo hippie actor or at least actor of weirdo hippie roles to it and suffice to say Peter Fonda is extreme professional in this role he the truth is one of the most memorable characters of 3d era of Grand Theft Auto games and he's also in a sense you could say in a 
morally hazy area of Grand Theft Auto games, he is also a good guy in a sense that he's not, he's, he doesn't betray anybody. And uh, what does that namaste mean? I actually know that now. It's some sort of salute or ending of the lesson or training comment in, uh, oh, well, in when you when you practice yoga. But now becomes you could say also one of the you could say I would say one of the most fun missions of this game. Mostly because of the chance to do massive amount of horrifying carnage. And yeah, they got rifles around here. Bolt action ones, they... <laughs> and... I say that the combine harvester is not the most... Oh, the rifle is not the most useful weapon of the game. But the Combine Harvester is one of the most funny, funnest we uh, vehicles because of this. <laughs> you can run people over and uh, it sprays the red goo all over the place. <laughs> you get the sadistic, you can get the sadistic enjoyment out of this vehicle a lot, and also the fact that, well. <laughs> Why? Uh <laughs> yeah, too bad th uh, th this fun doesn't last that long, but you can later get yourself find a new combine harvester from around here and put it into a big enough garage that you might find. And uh, of course it, it is not that recommended to drive into into everything, li ev every little person you might spot around. Because of the you could say It, mi it might be a little bit of, you could say, difficult occasionally, but now I get the harvester inside. Man, you brought peace back to my pal. Thank you, friend. I'll call you when the hoop to do is ready. Just make sure you get that cash. Well, yep, yeah, being a weirdo, stoned out hippie has expenses. Well, plot happening. Caesar has to be has to take a take a refuge as well. Oh, uh, but let's just drive into the road and once again pop out for the car to. As I, if I remember right, here a siren call of another you could say. Telephone. Oh, actually, it did. It, it doesn't happen yet. But I guess it would be time to head to the Angel Pine then. See what's going on over there. Lots of new characters and places introduced. Once again at Angel Pine, saying hello to s brother-in-law and sister. 
Oh, but I say future brother-in-law. Yeah, let's pull the plot. Hey, Carl. How you doing, sis? This ain't over, man. I did this to take care of my woman. But now I'm gonna head straight back home, and I'm gonna cap me some fucking dope dealers. Hey, look. You going to the barrio with that big willy bullshit, and you gonna get shredded. And I ain't losing you over no macho bullshit. Hey, relax, man. It's gonna get handled when it's time. We already know who the fucking bad guys are, man. Your stinking grocery for the smoke, and those chota pigs, Ted Benny and, and Pulaski. Smoke, he's a pusher, man. No, no, not Smoke. He might mess with Crash, but he don't mess with no yet. Come on, CJ, how you think he got that new house, huh? Just let that grow for life bullshit go and take a look around you. Word on the street is twice a week. Smoke sends a car to San Pietro and the trunk comes back full of white. Shit! I gotta keep my eye on the highway to San Fierro. Maybe I'll see something. Just, just lay low and I'll be back. Hello? Where to be, asshole? Why don't you call, eh? Well, I was just about to call you, but... Liar! You'll be hanging out with those sticky putas! No, no. If you just let me... It's silence! Get up here! We've got places to rob! Look, I'm in the middle of some shit right Need to meet someone there. Well, it looks like there's a plot happening and it would be time to go and actually, once again, cause some criminal mayhem with Catalina, the crazy woman. Once again, time to do a ro violent robbery as a Bonnie and Clyde style. Hey, in Catalina, this case... Hey, it's me, Carl Johnson. Hey baby, I'm sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. I had a rough time, baby. You know, maybe I was a little harsh. Please forgive me. Come on, baby. Open up the door. Shit. Is she here? Let's see. Come on, baby. Don't be mad. Baby, please. Without you, there is no Carl Johnson. Damn, man. Shit. Now, where is this stupid bitch? Mm. Uh, Here, cabron. Who's the bitch now, eh? Oh, baby, baby. I'm, I'm so sorry, baby. Well, what's that? You so right. Please forgive me, baby. Just, just don't fucking shoot me, please. Do you think you're sorry? Huh? How do you want to prove you're sorry? Uh, uh, come on now, baby. Come on. I'm gonna I'm play with you so rough, baby. Keep talking! Yeah, yeah. And, and I'll take you to rob banks and shit. Oh. And, you know, I, I, I'll let you kill anyone you want to kill. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gonna treat you right, baby. Shit. Just, come on. Just please don't shoot Carl, me. Carl, I, uh, I think I love you. Cool. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Shit, all that. Uh, you, you wanna go rob some shit, baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What we got left? Are you stupid? Did you forget already? The gas station in Dillimore. The liquor store in Blueberry. Or the betting shop in Montgomery. Okay, well this time we gonna do a real chill. No crazy psycho shit, baby. Speak for yourself, soft boy. Today, I feel like killing all the men I meet. Oh, baby. Don't worry, I make an exception for some of the men in my life. Now drive faster! Well, this car... <sighs> yep. I guess there's the closest robbery places here now. Actually, no, I'm gonna... 
Man, uh, I was already coming, coming, coming to here, so let's just rob this place because hey, these old places have to be robbed anyway, so let's just save some travel effort. And this ca car is a very slippery, not that good, not that good. And of course, none of these robberies usually go well. This place will be a walk in the park. You mean like the last place? Who are these cowboy assholes? Hang back a while, see what's what. Oh, looks like they robbed rob first. We got cash, let's get out of here. Those money poor masters have our money. That's my money. Please, to the motherfucker. Carl, you drive, I'll shoot. Let's go. So now it's now it becomes a quad bike ra chase. Uh, so about to say quad bikes are not slippery, but they turn real swiftly, meaning it's gonna be very much of this kind of uh, wobbling around the. That was a kind of, I would say, a glitch in a driving system. And luckily, the game doesn't make uh, lets you do the follow, lets you then continue the pursuit without having to worry about. Yeah, I shot the one, stopped to get the briefcase, and the rest just drove off. Or in this case, the final one would have just drove, drew, 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 drove off. I don't know it's pathetic, but one of them had pathetic was pathetic driver and got himself killed. Faster, Carl, faster. Oh I'm going as fast as this thing goes. And the slipperiness or will I say almost you could say the unbearably tight turn radius. another one of these big scary jumps so it's gonna be That was actually quite good uh, right, statement. Right. Right, uh, of course, I don't know why they did uh, made. Uh, they added Catalina into this game as a this kind of quite major side character. Well, I guess it was something that uh, let's add some continuity between. between all these 3D era games hammer them together into one coherent wall know how long the
Well, looks like I got the loot. And the quad bike has a quite wonky, you could say, movement box, crash box. There might be a route you think might you could drive real well, and then it becomes something that no, you don't get to ride it that well. Interestingly enough, San Andreas. Uh, because when you look about the uh, 3D era Grand Theft Auto games, Grand Theft Auto 3 basically didn't have that much of a, you could say, overarching plot beyond the nameless protagonist in then, or better say, in that game, nameless protagonist trying to get back of, the, trying to get a revenge on being shot and le shot, shot and all that kind of being shot and le left to defend for himself in. Liberty City, and in the end he finally gets gets that revenge. And Vice City didn't also have, you could say, it had, you could say, antagonistic character in form of Ricardo Diaz for quite a long time. But th then he gets out when the, you could say that the protagonist becomes also the, you could say, the villain of the story. Tommy Versetti in a sense is the most, you could say, the most criminal character of uh, 3D uh, kind of protagonist kind of the protagonist because he's just an unscrupulous dr dr unscrupulous professional criminal while uh, CJ is you could say a bit more you could say more on the level of scruples and professionalism or better say well, the quad bike ain't that easy thing to ride. Where the fuck is this? See you soon, handsome. Next time we play really rough. Yeah, that's cool. We can also play for some real money. I got some money to... Well, it's a long story, but I need some serious paper fans. Do come and see me again soon. We rob a real thing. And this is, uh, and in this space, the game is also has that li slightly amount of, you could say, freedom of choice. Hey, Holmes, I've been busy. Caesar, what's up? I can smell not just Archive from a mile off. Racing, my friend. Cars, not beautiful cars, but fast, man, fast. What are you talking about? Street racers from San Piero. They meet out here to tear up the blacktop. No chota, no chota choppers. You want to make some money? Does the Pope shit in the woods? Why you keep asking me that, Holmes? I told you, I don't know. What the holiness does his business is his business. Just get a fast car and meet me in Kendall just south of Montgomery. See you, man. Oh yeah, and another mission. I, uh, and a little bit of branching path I could do. Robbery missions with Catalina or go to do the racing mission with Caesar. But that is matter for the next time. See ya. Uh, 